The third piece of my plan is keeping, and maybe the most important, is keeping our children safe and our schools open. For any parent, it doesn't matter how low the risk of any illness or accident is when it comes to your child or grandchild. Trust me, I know. So, let me speak to you directly. Let me speak to you directly to help ease some of your worries. It comes down to two separate categories. Children ages 12 and older who are eligible for a vaccine now, and children ages 11 and under who are not yet eligible. The safest thing for your child, 12 and older, is to get them vaccinated. They get vaccinated for a lot of things. That's it. Get them vaccinated. As with adults, almost all the serious COVID-19 cases we're seeing among adolescents are in unvaccinated 12 to 17-year-olds, an age group that lags behind in vaccination rates. So parents, please get your teenager vaccinated. What about children under the age of 12 who can't get vaccinated yet? Well, the best way for a parent to protect their child under the age of 12 starts at home. Every parent, every teen sibling, every caregiver around them should be vaccinated. Children have four times higher chance of getting hospitalized if they live in a state with low vaccination rates rather than states with high vaccination rates. Now, if you're a parent of a young child, you're wondering, when will it be, when will it be the vaccine available for them? I strongly support independent scientific review for vaccine uses for children under 12. We can't take shortcuts with that scientific work. But I've made it clear I will do everything within my power to support the FDA with any resource it needs to continue to do this as safely and as quickly as possible. And our nation's top doctors are committed to keeping the public at large updated on the process so parents can plan.